हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू जिज्ञासा आई फर्स्ट आई विल टेल यू व्हाई आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर लास्ट मेनी डेज स्टूडेंट्स आर कमिंग टू मी एंड दे आर आस्किंग द सेम क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज सर देर आर ओनली टू मंथ्स लेफ्ट फॉर द एग्जाम वेदर वी विल बी एबल टू क्लियर इट और नॉट सो द दिस क्वेश्चन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन द सेल्फ डाउट इट इज कमिंग अगेन एंड अगेन so i decided that we should make a video so that we can cater to all those students who are having the same question right so first we will come to this point that why the question arises the question arises because student face many problems so the most common problems are these uh, incomplete preparation so the, this feeling incomplete preparation it gives you a self doubt then performance pressure is there you have to give answer to your parents you have to give answer to your colleagues you have to give answer to your friends and most of it you have to give answer to yourself so there are students who have started preparation this year or the year before and they have not uh, been able to clear prelims before also so this performance pressure it becomes more and more with attempts right then most importantly there is guilt feeling which is there among many students because they are preparing for last one year and they were not able to give the time which they should have given for the studies so because of that also they are facing the same same issue these things they bring you anxiety and tension all the time the same question goes on your in your mind again and again and all together these problems they create demotivation in the students and ultimately the self doubt whether i will be able to clear prelims or not so answer to the question whether the prelims can be cleared in 2 months or not is yes you can clear the prelims in 2 months there is no doubt about it provided that you are working in the right direction with the right strategy right so you have to put in all your energy into it first and the second your strategy should be right now putting all energy i am leaving to you but the strategy i will share with you a five step strategy based on which you can definitely clear prelims in the, these 2 months all right so now we will move to the strategy part prelims exam it cannot be cleared by content that is reading more and more material or only by confidence you need two things to clear this exam the one is content and the other, another is confidence and both are equally important mind it both are equally important so to cover the content you need to study as much as possible in the, these two months and for this confidence we will develop the strategy right so in this five step strategy step 1 is division of the remaining days in a smart way right smart division of time so how we will divide it there are 60 days remaining so we divide it into 45 days and 15 days now these 15 days you divide into 30 days and 15 days the first 30 days you should focus that in those 30 days you should cover entire syllabus once so it is like full revision of the entire syllabus including static and dynamic part then the remaining 15 days you will go for a smart revision which will be a quick revision and then you will go to these 15 in the last 15 days there should be a final revision which should be very quick right so this is the way you are going to divide the time and follow it so after the smart division of time we will move to step 2 so step 2 is self assessment you need to sit back and think about your pre uh, present status of your preparation okay what you have prepared in the last uh, year last time which have been passed so in this you will analyze your strengths your weaknesses and what is the way how you can analyze your strengths and weaknesses it is very easy to say very difficult to analyze so first you make a list of the subjects which are there in the prelims we can divide it into two parts core subjects and current affairs so in the core subject we have polity history geography economy environment art and culture and science and technology seven subjects then in current affairs we have government schemes and programs then we have institutions organizations and reports the third is budget india yearbook and the fourth is current affairs which are related to core subjects for example current affair related to environment current affair related to science and technology current affair related to economy current affair related to geography governance current affair which is related to polity this is the way you can divide it into two then you have to assess which of them 
you have already studied which of them you are comfortable with and which are the areas which you have not touched upon till date okay so this is the way you will get the clarity of your mind that what you have already done and what you have to do where you have to go right the clarity is very very important to make a perfect strategy this strategy which i am going to make in the next attempt so this is going to be individualistic every student will have the different subject or different things in that step okay so we will move to the step 3 now so in step 3 we are going to discuss a strategy for covering core subjects so based on the your self assessment which we have done in the previous step what you will be doing you will be dividing core subjects into three categories one is excellent then good then poor what is excellent the subjects which you understand very well and which you have covered very well what is good category subjects which you understand and you have covered but you are not thorough with them there are portions in that subjects which you are not comfortable with and what is poor the poor category subjects are those subjects which you have not touched till date okay so i have just given one example here do not take these subjects per se They, this is just one example for example uh, for any one student polity and geography may be the excellent subject he is well in these subjects then history modern economy environment these things can be the good subjects and there are other things art and culture science and technology let us say ancient history modern uh, medieval history those are the poor subjects which they, he has not touched upon till date okay so how we have to manage them excellent subject you have to revise them again and again give more time to them don't leave them they are your strengths and they will prevail you through the prelims they will be the reason behind your success in the prelims all right then the good subject in the good subjects you have to do the smart study how you do that let us assume in modern history there is a period for example from 1909 to 1947 so this is a period where lot of incidents happened and gandhi ji came and so many things happened right so there are logically many questions which can come from this section so this section cannot be skipped you should not skip this section right so there are sections which are important you should focus on the important section revise them again and again for example in economy monetary policy you should not skip the basics of the monetary policy how the money flow is controlled in the market uh, there are every time upsc is asking questions from repo rate reverse repo rate basic concepts then gdp and related issues the basic definitions basic concept so these things you should not skip right there are things which you can skip and what about the poor subjects so poor subjects don't leave them at all nothing you have to leave in the prelims touch each and every topic and every subject what you have to do go to the market get the smallest notes notes possible get the smallest notes possible for these subjects for example science and technology any small booklet you can purchase from the market whichever is the smallest come to your room and read it once at least okay so what will happen when you will go through these things once through the small notes you will have the confidence that you have gone through the subject and the anxiety factor will not be there when you will be reaching the examination hall if you are lucky you will get some question also from those notes right so this will work for your confidence only and it will be basically your content part and it will get you through the exam we need only 60 questions 120 marks if you can score nobody can stop you clearing prelims and still there are scope of 80 marks which you can leave in the exam so you don't worry if you can do it well then you can manage to clear it right in the so what is the remaining part the remaining part is the current affair part so in the coming step next step we are going to discuss the current affair part so in step 4 how to manage your current affairs the best strategy to manage them there are two kind of students the one who make their self notes and the other who do not have their self notes right so for both of them the step one is that you should go to the market and get the best compilation available in the market there are many institutions which are compiling good current affairs for you so you can get that compilation and you should read them once okay so this is the first thing now for the students who have their own self notes if there is anything in the compilation which is important and not there in your self notes add it to your self notes 
and then keep the compilation aside do not read it again read your self notes again and again rely on your self notes your hard work will pay you in your exam be confident about it about those students who do not have their self notes so for them keep this compilation and read it underlining the important aspects and then revise those underlined content only again and again do not read the same topic from many compilations don't do this mistake otherwise you will be running from here to there and your uh, result will not come you will be wasting your energy right so one compilation read it again and again and be confident that maximum questions will come from there and you will be in a situation to cover those questions now if you want to divide the current affairs you can divide it into government schemes then institutions organizations indices and reports this is one of the major area from where maximum questions are asked in general then budget india yearbook current affair related to science and technology these are the core subjects related current affairs science and technology environment governance geography especially locations related and ancient art and culture related which are which are there in news so for the, for them you can again get the compilation and read it we are also providing compilations specifically for the those segments government scheme institutions budget science and technology environment compilations are available with us as well you can contact us you can find the link below in the comment section right so this is the way you are going to cover your current affair remember first cover of the current affair should be done in those 30 days which we have divided in the step 1 so in step 5 we are going to the practice part all right fifth step as i mentioned is practice so practice can make you better and better every day and you can achieve the success through in your prelims right how you will practice so to practice there are current affairs tests subject wide test and full tests available in the market you can join some test series also of some good trusted institutions right remember one thing that you should not do questions which are irrelevant for the exam because they can guide you to the wrong direction only do the relevant questions and when you find any question which is interesting which, uh, which provide you more and more information underline those informations keep them for revision also revision is very very important for questions and their solutions as well right so for this you can join any test series work hard plan your time as i said in the five steps and have faith in yourself again one more thing and the last thing i would like to say here that do not prepare to prove yourself prepare to learn if you will prepare to learn there will be no anxiety your growth will be better day by day you will improve day by day if you will prepare to prove to someone else or to yourself you will always be under performance pressure and you will always be under anxiety and it will hamper your performance all right all the best